Yo, 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 it's your boy. Get him to the heart, to the t I quit. I cannot sing. I quit. I can't sing. But anyway, guys, welcome back. It's your boy, Game Hub 2. Line back with another Open TTD tutorial video. Video. And in this video, I will be talking about passenger ships and ships in general. Now, now, no one really purchases ships in their game because they're overly slow. Like, like they travel slow as shit. But, um, if you ever wanted to buy a ship in your game, then you tap on waterways construction. And then tap on our ship depots to place one. I personally like my facing this way. How come? And next, we shall build two docks. Personally, I like building them by roads because you can connect bus stops to them. So I will place our my dock here. Add a road connection to it. Yeah, there's our dock number one. Our dock number two will go to this small town over here. Suck my dick. Then here's how we purchase boats. So we tap on our ship depot. Type. I mean, I keep saying type. Tap new ships. We have the CS Incorporated oil oil tanker. It travels 25 miles per hour and it carries 350,000 liters of oil. It's a lot of oil. And our and in our FFP passenger ferry, it travels at 40 miles per hour and it carries 130 passengers. Next, we have our Bakewell 300 hovercraft. It has a clan 300. I can't say now I'm on the video, but um, it travels 70 miles per hour. Carries <laughs> it carries 100 passengers. I'd use I I'd use this ferry if you're trying to use a fast transport method. My ship. And then here's our Bakewell cargo ship. It also travels 25 miles per hour and carries 125. 190 crates of goods and it says it's refitable to all cargo types of passengers and oil so I'd use this for uh, so I'd use this ship for mail and um so since I care more about speed than capacity I will use our Bakewell 300 hovercraft so let's buy this ship and then select its orders go to Jarnham docks and then Corningham docks F -f fully load and load three two one let's make nine ships have have them all traveling at separate times Now, let's make some mail ships. 
So again, I will use a Bakewell cargo ship. We will re refer to mail. Okay, it's 190 bags of mail. So I will just tap on one of the boats instead of making new orders. I will use six ships. <laughs> and it's and it's all you can see. These ships travel a lot slower. And these ships are making us thirty four hundred dollars each trip. So approximately sixty eight hundred dollars per journey per round trip journey. And that there is how you make cargo and passenger ships. M make sure to subscribe, comment. I seriously mean comment. I say this every time I comment. Like, share, feel me. All that you feel me, bro. Because my videos are, are to help y'all get better at Open TTD. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in a future OpenTTD tutorial video.